Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, I posted that Microsoft had released KB5022905 to the release preview channel for its final testing. And just to let you know that if you are still using the original release of Windows 11, that KB5022905 has now made its way to the stable version of Windows 11 21H2 which I'm rolled out on the 21st of February. Now, if you have decided to install this optional update, um, your OS build after the installation has taken place will be bumped up to 22,000.1641. And um, it is a non-security bug fix update. And as mentioned last week, does carry one new improvement and one new feature. Now, if we just head over to the settings app and we head over to accounts, sign-in options. Um, facial recognition is used as part of Windows Hello to sign into your device if you have it installed and your device supports it. And this update adds an advanced auto-learning feature for that facial recognition. Now, Microsoft doesn't give us any more information over and above the fact that auto-learning um, has been improved for facial recognition. Now, um, carrying on with the rest of the key highlights when it comes to different fixes, and the next is for accessibility color filters. Um, there is an issue that's been addressed that was affecting the color filter settings. Apparently, when you selected inverted, the system sets it to grayscale instead. So that issue has been resolved. And uh, um, the same fix has rolled out for Windows 10 when it comes to Internet Explorer mode. Um, apparently, uh, the text on the status bar was not always visible when using Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge. And another fix that also rolled out for Windows 10 addresses an issue that stops hyperlinks from working in Microsoft Excel. And another similar update um, addresses an issue that affects a certain streaming app. Microsoft doesn't give us any information as to what streaming app, but uh, apparently um, the issue stopped video playback after an advertisement plays and played in the app so that issue has been resolved now um there are some other quality improvements and if you do want to stick around just to hear a, a couple of other and just to dive a little bit deeper into some of the other bug fixes that have rolled out we're just going to look at four quickly um apparently um when you remove a user profile and um, for some users that cleanup process wasn't complete when removing a user profile and because of this the database would grow as time passed and that issue now has been resolved with this latest update and um, there was an issue where two maximize windows apparently were causing problems and um, that was when a window that is behind another window might appear on top so that issue now with two maximize windows um, has been addressed where another window might appear on top of another window just a bit of a explorer.exe issue been resolved there with this latest update and then the second last one just to mention for this video also rolled out to windows 10 addresses an issue that affects the local security authority subsystem service lsass apparently that was uh, not responding in some circumstances and then addresses an issue that affects parity virtual disks um, apparently using server manager to create them failed. So those um, issues have been resolved. So that's more or less what's new in this latest optional bug fix C release update for February. And if you don't install this update, um, most of the fixes and improvements will be carried over into the patch Tuesday update rolling out on the second Tuesday of uh, next month, March 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.